Hi. I'm Rick Myers, uh, author of great martial arts movies and film columnist for Inside Kung Fu and Asian Cult Cinema, but who cares? Uh, the important thing is I'm here with Stephen Chow Sing Chi, who is the uh, director, producer, writer, and star of the movie that you have in your DVD player right now. Hello, Stephen. Hi. Well, you know, a lot of people will probably know who you are who have this DVD in their player right now, but there are some people who may be seeing you for the first time with this movie. Yeah. So could you tell them a little bit about your biography, born up till now? You know? Oh, that's a long story. I know. I'll wait. <laughs> it's okay. We've got time. I don't have time. Yeah, you know, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Okay. Actually, I'm Stephen Chow. <laughs> yeah, you're not some chief? In, in Chinese, mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, and, and I'm Hong Kongese, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. 42 years old right now, don't tell anybody okay. about that, yeah. Um, <laughs> but a little bit about your background, how did you become the big movie star that you are now? Yeah, actually, I start my career from a TV company, mm -hmm. yeah, and I was actually a, a host mm -hmm. in a children program, uh, like a long time ago, called uh, 430 Space Shuttle, mm -hmm. yeah, for six, six, five or six years. Mm -hmm. And then um, start to, uh, started to, to play a role in some TV series and then uh, on the big screen and then, you know, become uh, an actor, yeah. a movie, a movie actor, yeah. Yeah, almost a, a, a award-winning movie actor, in fact, in dramas at the beginning of your career. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then comedy. Like a supporting actor, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, in Taiwan, was it? Yeah, yeah Taiwan, yeah. Taiwan. Yeah. Taiwan, a film award. Uh, again, for people who don't know, you've done more than 30 movies. Um, the movie they have in their DVD player now is the highest grossing movie in Hong Kong history, Kung Fu Hustle. Yes. And uh, let's talk about that, because Kung Fu Hustle is an homage to great martial art kung fu movies. Mm. Oma. Homage, it's uh, honor, yeah, you know. Oh, okay, yeah, yes. homage. For anybody who's watching, he has an interpreter off screen. Okay. Also for me, occasionally. <laughs> my English is very bad. <laughs> so, uh, so many people don't understand your inspirations for this movie or illusions because we didn't get a lot of the movies that you saw as a kid mm. here in America. Mm. So I want to talk about the movie and explain certain things uh, because this is basically a big audio visual commentary. Yeah. Now, the first thing, for anybody who's seen any of your previous films, Shaolin Soccer, King of Comedy, God of Cookery, mm. this movie starts very violently. You, know, you think so? Uh, I mean, it starts with the axe chopping off the fellow's leg and right. the woman being shot in the back with a shotgun. Yeah. Um, why, why did you choose to do that this time? Uh, for me, it's quite important to, to have a good description of the axe gang mm -hmm. and how they cruel mm -hmm. and uh, the, a lot of violence and they, they're scary. Yes. Yeah. And uh, to build up a strong and powerful and scary axe can that I have no choice to uh, to put some of the violence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, in, now in the beginning of the sequence. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen the axe gang before in other Hong Kong movies. Yeah. The last one I remember is in uh, Drunken Master Two, mm -hmm. uh, Jackie Chan's movie. He had the axe gang in that. Is the axe gang a famous group of uh, criminals in Hong Kong history? I'm not sure is it true or not, but mm -hmm. it is from the 40s, mm -hmm. something, you know. And uh, the inspiration of the Axe Gang is actually from a movie called Ma Wing Ting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a Shaw Brothers movie in the 70s. Ah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the Axe Gang. Mm -hmm. And the, the Axe Gang is more like a, um, a legendary scan in mm -hmm. the history. Right. But uh, I'm not sure is it true or not. Yeah. Uh, just to give a more background for our, our viewers now, the Shaw Brothers, of course, is the, was a major studio in Hong Kong that put out 750 movies mm. over several decades. And unfortunately, we only got to see a few of them in America. Uh, there's a company that I won't name that has the rights to release the Shaw Brothers movies in America, mm. and they haven't done so Which yet. One? Well, it's a company you know <laughs> fairly well, but okay. I won't mention them. They invo okay. were involved with your previous film, mm. but that's why that's not released either. Mm. But shh, we won't talk about that. <laughs> now, did you build everything? Is there anything real in this movie, or is it all a set, like the, the town and the pigsty alley? Did you build that from the ground up? Basically, only pigsty is um, 
is the whole set that we built mm -hmm. we built up from from zero mm -hmm. and uh, and because um, it's quite important in the movie you mm -hmm. know that uh, yeah. is one of the main setting mm -hmm. and also it's something that I I stayed when I was young mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. I was living uh, in this kind of environment you know when I was a kid so right. uh, that's why I just want to and I miss it. <laughs> then I, that's why I want to build it up, like, you know, uh, again. And you know. <laughs> where did you build your set? Does, uh, did you build uh, the Pigsty Alley in Hong Kong? Uh, actually, it's the studio in Shanghai. In Shanghai. Yes. Ah, excellent. Uh, now you also introduce the landlord, played by the wonderful Yun Hua. Um, could you tell me about why you wanted him, or how you wound up casting Yun Hua as the landlord? Uh, you know, uh, is always my favorite actor, mm -hmm. and you know, uh, I think you you see him in a lot of uh, uh, action kung fu movie mm -hmm. in the past, and also in the Bruce Lee movie as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think he did the double of Bruce Lee in Enter the Dragon. Yeah, <laughs> that's mm -hmm. that's what he always told me. The story and how he worked with Bruce Lee and how um, how strong is uh, the the great master. Mm -hmm. I mean Bruce Lee and yeah. he and how uh, how they go for dinner and sometimes they go for bowling and <laughs> <you> know, <laughs> yeah. seems like they they were so close at that time. Mm -hmm. So um, that's why I admire Yun Hua very much. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> and. Yeah. He's very famous uh, for uh, martial art fans here in America for two roles he played in Sammo Hung's Eastern Condors, right. where he was the Vietnamese villain, and Dragons Forever with Jackie, Yun Biao, and uh, Sammo, where yes. he again played an amazing villain. And okay. he's playing a hero in your movie. Yeah. Normally he plays villains. Yeah. Is there a reason that you wanted him to play a hero? Yeah, a, a hero, but it, it, who doesn't look like a hero. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. And mm -hmm. I think he is... He has that kind of uh, image that uh, always beaten by his wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and also, <laughs> his wife is played by Yun Kui. Uh, his wife, landlady. <laughs> that Yun Chao. Yeah. Yun Chao. See, my, my pronunciation is terrible. So you can same, you know. slap me. Yeah. <laughs> um, bam. Uh, she, where did, you, why did you want her? Because she hasn't been in movies for a long time. Yeah. Actually, Yun Chao, uh, I met her occasionally in my mm -hmm. office. Mm -hmm. uh, she came with her friend to my office for the casting. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was sitting, you know, some, somewhere behind and with a cigarette on her mouth and I just, you know, uh, and it draw my attention. And who 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 is that? <laughs> who is that woman with a cigarette? And it's that's the image that uh, really interesting mm -hmm. for me because it is it's match mm -hmm. uh, the image in my mind for for the land lady. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I approach her. And then I know her background. Mm -hmm. Actually, he she was uh, in the in the business like long time ago. Mm -hmm. And then I. That's why I invite her uh, if she uh, is willing to come back. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, she said, yes, yes. why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try, okay. Then, you know, I'm lucky. Yes, well, f again, Americans would probably best know her. She was one of the schoolgirls in the James Bond movie, The Man with the Golden Gun. She, oh, yeah. she beat up a whole bunch of people who were chasing Roger Moore as James Bond, and that was fascinating because that was 30, more than 30 years ago. Yeah, and yeah. she's just great in this movie. <laughs> your casting, uh, the casting of the characters in all your movies is always very, very interesting. And in this movie, you've got all these wonderful old uh, kung fu master mm. characters, but also with your group of, of um, you, you have many characters who repeat from movie to movie. Mm. And they're also very interesting looking. Mm. You know, they're very odd looking. Uh, what is your, you like to combine veterans with uh, new people, right? Right. Yeah, so tell me a little bit about what you look for in your casts and some of the people in this movie. It all depends, you know, is, um, there's no theory for, uh, 
for movie making and mm -hmm. uh, and also casting. You know, the casting means to me is you just try to f find someone who's suitable to play the role in the movie. Mm -hmm. That's it. But uh, sometimes you already have the, have an idea in your mind, mm -hmm. like the, the image. Yeah, that's some that's something that I I'm looking for. But mm -hmm. sometimes you 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 didn't. Mm -hmm. You just you know uh, try to find someone to inspire you. Mm -hmm. So um, example like uh, uh, the landlady. Yeah, I already have such image. Like the the, the landlady has to be fat and you know. <laughs> Uh, with the 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 what what you curlers. call curlers yeah the curlers, curlers in her hair uh, mm -hmm. uh, in her hair and uh, maybe cigarette that's that's a very good design and yeah something like that mm -hmm. but uh, example for the beast mm -hmm. in the movie I I don't know you know uh, originally idea in the script is not like that is like you know uh, with dress up like a superhero and, <laughs> <laughs> and actually like a robot <laughs> but you know until I met uh, Leung Siu Long again mm -hmm. and and uh, actually he <laughs> he he yeah he, he came to my office um, with a wig a wig yeah. a wig and then I then I asked him if he don't mind to take it off, and then he take it off, and that's the image. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's someone that, that I want. So you know, I have, this is uh, again we know him better as Bruce Liang, who's done a bunch of movies like My Kung Fu Twelve Kicks, The Fist That Kicks Who's the Bruce Liang? Bruce Liang. That's who. Oh, the, 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 yeah, the, the American the, name. Yeah. I heard a rumor that originally you wanted uh, Tan Tao Liang to play the Beast, the big kicker, Dylan Tam. Yeah, Tan Tan uh, Tam Do Leung. Yeah, one of one of the options that uh, maybe not exactly the bees, but mm -hmm. you know, uh, it could be uh, one of the master in the mm -hmm. movie. But uh, unfortunately, uh, he, he hurt himself oh. at the end, so he, he was unable to be in the movie. Uh. But you know, maybe mm -hmm. next time. The music in this movie is wonderful. Is mm -hmm. just beautiful, and I am so happy that you haven't that you didn't try to have rap music or hip hop music or something like that. You I have tried that all. <laughs> you did. <laughs> I, I have tried all that, uh, all kind of different music uh, mm -hmm. before, but end up I uh, decided that I better not use <laughs> the Western <laughs> yeah. type uh, mm -hmm. thing, and then I. I would like to focus on the original, I mean, mm -hmm. the Oriental mm -hmm. style. And uh, actually, the, the music, uh, most of the music is, is like the Chinese uh, orchestra, mm -hmm. uh, Chinese opera, mm -hmm. um, in the old day. But uh, it's, it's been used very common mm -hmm. in all that uh, black and white uh, Movie right, musical in the sixties. Right, uh, we call it Yu Chang Bin, you know, in Cantonese. Mm -hmm. And uh, but uh, it has been a long time that nobody use it mm -hmm. seriously. And uh, I think it's such a good idea to. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, I to, agree. To, to rearrange the whole thing, you know, uh, 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 in a good quality, and then mm -hmm. use it in in a kung fu movie. Yeah, yeah your composer was Raymond Wong. Yeah. And uh, very, very impressive. Is there anything you want to or need to say about Raymond Wong and how you worked with him to create the music for the movie? He's good. <laughs> <laughs> excellent. That, excellent. Good excellent. Job. That's yeah. all I can say. Yes. yes. And, and you're absolutely <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, the first thing you do in the movie, even before we see your face, is some kids are playing soccer. Right. And they kick the ball to you and you stop it and then you say, No more soccer. Yeah. And you what's just in case people don't know, why why did you do that? There's, there's no it. soccer in this movie, so that's why <laughs> yes. I just <laughs> Yes, I, I know that. But there was a lot of soccer in your previous movie. Yeah. Which was the previous Yeah, so this time, yeah, yeah, no more no more soccer. No ball at all, you know. 
Yeah, you just, <laughs> but you wanted to let the audience know that, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's like a joke, yes. you know. And yeah. uh, very, it was very effective. Now, you have a fairly, it's, uh, you have a fairly realistic movie. You know, the kung fu is exaggerated, mm. uh, but suddenly there's a scene where the landlady chases you, and your legs start going very, very fast, <laughs> yeah. and you have a lot of knives in your arm. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, where did this? Did you see Warner Brothers cartoons when you were growing up? Is this uh, actually yes? The idea is from the Road Runner, the cartoon, and uh, first of all, it's a very interesting idea, and more important is it has never been done in live action. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, that's why I, I really want to try and. Uh, but it's uh, just an idea, but I have to advise all the animator, you know, the, the CGI mm -hmm. people, you know, and if they agree with this idea and they, if they think it's going to be, uh, it's going to work, or it is possible to make it in live, in, in live action, then, mm -hmm. I, I, then I'll, I'll just go for it. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, the person who starts your character on the road to Kung Fu greatness is played by Yun Wo Ping, oh. the choreographer for the movie. Mm. Um, originally, I believe that Sammo Hong was going to be the choreographer of the film, and he does have a credit for doing additional Kung Fu choreography. Right. Could you tell us what Sammo did and uh, uh, tell us a little bit about how you worked with Yun Wo Ping? Oh, Sammo was. Um, responsible for the first fighting sequence mm -hmm. uh, when the three hidden master mm -hmm. in the pig sty um, against the, the, the axe gang mm -hmm. yeah that, uh, that that's a that's such a big sequence that mm -hmm. he uh, and I think he did it very well yes yeah, yeah. I'm very impressed uh, yeah. after that he, he he just left and mm -hmm. because of some health uh, problem oh, and okay. then then I I, I find, I give a call to Yun Wa Ping, and, mm -hmm. <laughs> and he, yeah, he and he, he, he took the job. Yeah, yeah he did, and did a wonderful job. All right, this is, movie is called Kung Fu Hustle. Yeah. Yes, so let's talk Kung Fu. Okay. Because Americans don't, for years, even today, Americans think Kung Fu is all about big muscles and power. Yeah. And it's not about that at all. So there's, you talk about chi in this movie, you know, inner power mm -hmm. and kung fu. Right. So tell us a little bit about your feelings, why you wanted to make this movie. Yeah, actually the reason is so simple. Just, mm -hmm. I, I just love it. Mm -hmm. Then I want to make something about it. Yeah, that's it. But a lot of Americans don't understand kung fu. How would you explain, somebody comes to you and says, okay, Bruce Lee can do a one-inch punch yeah. and send someone across the room. So that right. must mean Bruce Lee is really full of muscles. Right. What do you tell What do you tell somebody? How do you explain what kung fu is? Uh, I think it's quite it's a common sense for everybody. Yeah, for you, Chinese kung fu. But yeah. actually, but for me, um, kung fu means uh, something more. Mm -hmm. Is to me yeah. the the spirit of Chinese kung fu is like uh, you learn how to fight. Then you don't have to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's the mean. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. If, if you go a, a little bit deeper, and then mm -hmm. you 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 get this meaning, and also mm -hmm. uh, to forgive mm -hmm. better than to kill. Right. Yeah. Actually, when you learn kung fu, uh, ultimately, is like you learn how to avoid. Uh, this kind of uh, violence, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, as a matter of fact, let's jump ahead a little bit because you have an entire scene pretty much just about that mm. when Yun Hua, the landlord, comes down to the two musician assassins yeah. and just avoids them, makes them hurt each other. <laughs> and it's all about balance. Yeah. In fact, he ends the scene by spinning them around and creating the yin-yang sign on the ground, right, 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 right. which is balance. Right. So tell us a little bit about Chi, yeah, because Americans, um, we know it in Star Wars as the Force, yeah, but uh, it's been around in the Chinese culture for thousands yeah. of years. Yeah, yeah, 
So could you? Well, uh, what Yun Wah did in Kung Fu Hustle mm -hmm. is, well, we call it uh, as a Tai Kun, Tai Chi. Mm -hmm. Tai Chi. Like, you know, like Yin Yang and, mm -hmm. and the theory uh, of Tai Chi is like uh, the, the softest achieve the hardest. Well, you do an example. When you, the, your character as a little boy gets the book, yeah. and he makes the move, and he thinks he's moving the leaves of the tree, yeah. when actually it's just the wind doing that. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Very good. Um, but that's him thinking that he's able to take his internal power, his chi, and right. direct it outward, yeah. which happens a lot in the movie. Right, right. But this is not really something that Americans, I feel, are, are very knowledgeable about. Right, right. But you've had dozens, hundreds of movies over many years right. talking about this. Yeah. So if you could, uh, again, try to explain to someone who doesn't know anything about Kung right. Fu yeah. what that is what chi is. Um, and if I explain to the Western people that chi is just like a superpower, you know, mm -hmm. but it, it, uh, it does exist in the world. That's mm -hmm. what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you've heard. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> so you made a movie about it. And, yeah. and, and I would love to believe it. It's, <laughs> it, <laughs> yes. it's just true. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but uh, in my culture, this kind of thing, like the mm -hmm. superpower, we call it chi. Uh, for you, you call it Superman or Spider-Man or anything mm -hmm. like that. But for me, mm -hmm. it's like you know, kung fu, Chinese kung fu. Right. Uh, and uh, uh, I I can hurt you uh, without touching you. That's mm -hmm. that's you know because I use my chi mm -hmm. to hurt you. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, there you go. And we also. Um, well, let's talk about also the importance in Kung Fu. Well, you've been taking Kung Fu for a while, right? You've been practicing and studying Kung Fu yourself? Yes. For how long have you been doing this? Thing? For, uh, actually, I, what I did is more like a self-training, you know. Mm -hmm. But I did go to the school to learn Kung Fu for mm -hmm. three months. Mm -hmm. And uh, because that, that's what I can afford. <laughs> for right. three months. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I, the, the, the style that I learned was called the Wing Chun. Wing Chun, Wing Chun. Yeah. That's the Wing Chun style. Mm -hmm. That's the form. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, given Kung Fu, another thing that Americans aren't quite sure of is the hand positions that you showed. But you see a lot of this in Kung Fu movies and in your movie when people do this to each other. What does that mean? Oh, this is like uh, like a say hello and. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sign yeah. of respect, though, isn't it? Yeah, like yeah. a hi. Yeah. <laughs> is there a difference between this and this? Good morning. Good morning. Bye. Yeah. 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 We, we do this. You know. It's a, it's a greeting. Yeah. Also, you have very strong stances in the movie. You know, stances, the certain positions you hit. Mm -hmm. Can you explain the importance of stances in kung fu? Yes. Mm -hmm. Here's the way that I stand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Like so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, why is That's that important? That's a really uh, traditional stance uh, of Chinese Kung Fu, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, uh, well. Does that help you channel the energy better? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I just think it, it's not good. And <laughs> <laughs> I can't argue with that. There's movies for you. Okay. All right. Well, one of the big scenes that is really wonderful in the movie, but very confusing to some, some people here in the States, maybe, is when you have the two musicians yeah. and they use what we call the lyre. What's the, what's the Chinese word for that instrument that they play? Uh, we call it uh, a musical instrument. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Actually, uh, okay, you can call it Chinese uh, piano. Piano. Uh -huh. But in, in, in Chinese, I, I think it's a gu zhang ah, or gu kam. Well, they use it as a weapon. Yeah, they and use that's it as a weapon. Very unusual. Yeah, my explanation <laughs> yeah. of this kind of thing is mm -hmm. is also uh, something related to qi, mm -hmm. and uh, and then the qi will you know uh, focus your your energy and power and then become that weapon to to kill people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the idea. But the the idea of this musical instrument mm -hmm. <laughs> actually is from the very old uh, Hong Kong Kung Fu novel. Ah, now there's one thing in this movie that 
all Bruce Lee fans recognize and enjoy, but a lot of people didn't re realize. And do you know what I'm referring to? No. Okay. Uh, uh, in the car, <laughs> the landlady in the car with the Axe Gang oh, yeah. leaders, right. she does something in the back seat. She makes certain motions with her hands. Right, right, right. Tell them what that's from. Oh, that's from The, the Way of the Dragon mm -hmm. uh, by Bruce Lee. And uh, one of my favorite scenes that mm -hmm. when Bruce Lee, uh, he, he, he played someone from, from mainland China in, uh, who, who, who was unable to speak <laughs> English. And so that's why he had, the only thing he could do is just, you know, uh, by movement. You know, and so, expression. Right. You know, you, <laughs> ma'am, no, me, will kill you. Yeah, mm. something like that. Yeah, it's something like that. Exactly like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, what? Oh yes. What does Donut say before he dies? He shouts out something in in I think English. Before, yeah, I, I think I, so. But, but you too. I'm not quite sure. Do you, do you know what he said? Because I couldn't make it out. Yeah. I kept rewinding it, playing it over again. I think, I, I guess, that mm -hmm. uh, what he said is, uh, like, uh, what, what are you preparing to do? You know? Ah, excellent. Now, the beast is played by Bruce <coughs> Liang, who we know in this film. We'll, right. we'll wait till you die. <laughs> and he has a secret weapon, you know, that little thing he has to, to stab people with. And when you twist it, it turns into a flower. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> Yeah. Is is that flower significant? Uh, it's like is it could be very violent, mm -hmm. but at the same time it could be you know very beautiful, beautiful like a flower. Yeah. You know? Right, very yeah. very nice. So yeah. where do you go from here? You've done this amazing movie, Kung Fu Hustle. Mm. Uh, what what's next for Stephen Chow Sing Chi? Uh, Maybe Kung Fu Hustle sequel. Sequel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. Oh, yeah, wait, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to say to your fans mm. while we have the chance? Well, uh, I hope they they'll like the film. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's too late. It's already on their DVD. We're playing it on their DVD player now. We're in their DVD. Like, like they already like the film? Yeah. Th well, they've got it. They're then watching I, it. Then I have nothing to say. Okay, great. Thank you. And I have nothing to say to you. Thank you. Thank you.